Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I am here in the lockdown garden where I have been spending quite a lot of time lately because uh, we're not really allowed to go out anywhere, certainly not to take pictures or, or view, to do any astronomy unfortunately. So we have to do everything from here. But in a way it's a good thing because I'm going to be showing you some amazing things that you can see and photograph from your own garden. And it doesn't even matter if you're in the middle of town like me, I'm in the middle of Blackpool and you can imagine the kind of light pollution that we have here. It's pretty bad. I want to give you an idea of what I'm up against right here now. Excuse the noise, that's coming from my uh, central heating vent there. So anyway, as you can see, we've got street light over there. That's looking towards the east. Now, I'm going to be trying to photograph the Orion Nebula in this video. And that is just up there. I don't know if you can see this on there here now, but Orion is up there. It's a winter constellation and it's high up in the south now. Can you see that? Uh, I'm going to be attempting to photograph the Orion Nebula, which is somewhere just underneath these three stars. You can see it with your own eyes. If you go out tonight or any other night in the next month or so, when it's clear, you can see the Orion Nebula with your own eyes. It's an amazing star forming region. Um, that looks like a fuzzy patch in the sky and I'm going to attempt to photograph it with all this going on and look at this um, telegraph pole as well anyway that's what I'm going to be attempting to do see I'm really up against it here with all these street lights and the telegraph wires as well all over the place I'm really struggling to, to get a clear shot of the Orion Nebula but I'm going to try it anyway and I'm going to try it using a camera on a static tripod with a regular 200 millimeter lens you might have something similar yourself and i'll give you an idea of how to photograph the amazing orion nebula just using a normal camera with a normal telephoto lens and what kind of exposure to use so that you can get a half decent picture of it so anyway let's get the camera set up and see if we can find the orion nebula and then take a picture of it from the middle of this garden Anyway, before I start, what I want to do is I just want to show you a photograph that I took from just outside here. And as you can see, I've taken a picture, a, a widest picture, and you can see Orion up there. And you can see, um, you can actually see the whole of the Winter Triangle. The Winter Triangle is a large triangle that points downwards and it encompasses Betelgeuse at the top left of Orion. And it also takes in Sirius at the very bottom, that's the very bottom part of the triangle. And up there on the left, on the other side, the left hand side of the telegraph pole is Procyon, which is the little dog, part of the little dog constellation. And um, that is the winter triangle. And at the moment it's a really, really good time to photograph around because it's, it's high up. It's high up in the south part of the sky. In fact, it's actually crossed the southern meridian, which is the highest point that it gets to and it's actually drifting down now towards the southwest so it's a really good time to photograph it and actually it's actually moving into a part of the sky that's away from this street light which is a good thing for me so I might have a better chance of photographing it anyway like I said this is the space that I've got can you see here this is the space that I've got and I'm looking out that way there it's not very good is it so what I've done is I've actually come out of the gate can you see I've got the star bus here out here look look and I've set my camera up here See this? Look at that. Hey, no street light in the way. That's where I took that picture from. Right here, because I'm blocked away from that street light. Can you see? Look at that. Yeah, so as you can see, I've got the camera pointing up towards Orion, and I've actually got it sort of zeroed in on the uh, the belt star so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to this DSLR now and I'm going to show you how I get the Orion Nebula in the frame and then focus and then we can get a shot of it okay I hope you can see this uh, we're now on the belt of Orion they've got these three bright stars here Alnitak on the left Alnilam in the middle and Mintaka is the one on the right hand side the three famous belt stars of Orion but what we want to do is we want to uh, find the Orion Nebula what, what I'll do first is I didn't do the focusing so what I'll do is I'll just go out of focus on this picture now can you see how it goes out of focus there can you see how that's out of focus I twiddle that until those stars go as small as possible in in the screen on the screen and then I know that they're in focus so 
If it looks like that, or sorry, if it looks like that, obviously you can see the well out of focus. There. Grab hold of the focusing ring and turn it until those are as small as possible. Okay, so now that we've got the focus, what we need to do is we then need to move the camera down on the tripod. We'll move down, 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 and we should see the Orion Nebula just here. Now, can you see now there's a group of stars coming? It's quite busy, you can tell quite easily that this is where the Orion Nebula is. It's, it's like a group of really bright stars. You can't miss them, and I reckon I'm centred right on it now. So I, I'm going to set my camera up. Now I'm using a 200 millimeter lens. So what I need to do is I need to regulate the exposure so that there's no significant trailing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a two and a half second exposure. That's very fast. So I'm gonna to have to whack up the ISO all the way up to something like 12,800. Now another thing as well, the lens I'm using is f 2.8. So it's a fairly fast lens. If you're using a slower lens, say an f4 or something like that, you're going to have to boost the ISO up even more. But anyway, I'll put the I'll put the settings on the screen after I take the picture. So let's have a go at taking this picture now of the Orion Nebula. Now then, what do you think to this? Isn't that amazing? Hey, um, when I first set it up, I actually caught that telegraph. Can you see the telegraph wire there going across the frame? I actually had that going through the nebula. Can you believe it? So I had to move my camera out of the way. I had to move it a little bit, but there you go. There's the Orion Nebula. How amazing is that? It does look quite small, but uh, the Orion Nebula is actually a pretty big object to photograph, and you can quite easily photograph it with a 200 millimeter lens. I can crop right into this now. No problem at all. We'll zoom into it now and we'll see. And you can see now that I've caught some really good detail in it and I've actually blown out the core because the core of the Orion Nebula is fairly bright. There's four bright stars in there called the, the trapezium and they're very bright and they're very easy to blow out. If you want to get a proper picture of it, you need to take separate exposures for that. So anyway, there you go. There's the Orion Nebula and the settings were two and a half seconds at 200 millimeters f 2.8 and the iso was 12,800. amazing so there you go that was the orion nebula captured from the middle of blackpool in a garden on a camera with a telephoto lens on a static tripod it just gives you the chance to have a go yourself if you want to have a go yourself i've given you the settings there and i've told you how to focus how to find it hopefully you can have a go at it yourself and even if you don't you know you, you can't photograph it just look at it just get some binoculars out and look at the Orion Nebula because um, it's actually clear here for the next few days which is quite rare and Orion is a winter constellation so we only see it in the winter and we've probably got until the end of March maybe the end of March sometime into April to photograph it and then what happens then is it drifts too far off to the southwest and what happens as well is we also get the uh, the daylight starting to creep in as well so we get the longer days so we start to lose the ability to see orion or photograph it so anyway i hope you like the video and i hope i've given you a good idea of something to photograph in the night sky or something to see in the orion nebula anyway if you like the video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and also tick the bell for notifications of new videos and look out for the next video where i'll be putting the camera on a tracker and we'll be getting some even longer exposures of the orion nebula let's see what we can do from the garden see you then